Hello everybody, it's me, Sandy Weldon. First and foremost, I wanna thank all you wonderful people who sent me birthday wishes yesterday. You made my day and I just speak blessings over you all in the name of Jesus. I haven't been making videos in a while. It's not that God has not been speaking to me. I've just been silently waiting on him. And the Lord has a lot of things to say. But I was inspired today a memory popped up of a positive confession I posted five years ago. And I felt in light of what is going on in our world today, and so many people are suffering from this um, disease from hell created by man working with Satan on humanity and all the CDC and all the big pharma, which is witchcraft. Okay, so we are going to pray over one another, but the title basically of this is the glory of God in prayer. That was the title of it. And I'm like, that is it, you know, cause the, the word of God in Isaiah 60 says, arise, shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord. So it's risen upon you and me. And so it's our job to be that light to the world, our job to take the power that Jesus himself gave to us and push back darkness. So I'm going to read to you what I wrote and released five years ago. And it says, the Lord will triumph over tragedy. Yes, he will. We, you and me, will push back darkness. God will invade. I had written Jack Sparrow, but God will invade this earth with his glory. Yes, he will. And yes, he is. And he's going to manifest it between you and I. Sometimes there is a supernatural thing where he's just, his glory fills the atmosphere in the room where you're at. But we are his ambassadors. That's what the word of God says. We are his ambassadors in this earth to do his bidding. 1 Corinthians 15, 57 reads, But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua. We already have the victory to push the darkness back. It's you and me understanding we are kings and priests given that authority by Yeshua, Jesus himself. Pick it up. Pick it up. I know many of you have not been taught that in your congregations, in your denominations. This is something that the Lord wants you to know. It's yours and it's mine. And that's why we have not been relevant in this earth. But we're going to be now because people are hungry for God. They're hungry for truth and they're breaking out of the control hold that real religion, the religion of man, has had on you, okay? I'm encouraging you, find out what the Word of God says, absorb it, believe it, and apply it. Genesis 50, 20 through 21 reads like this, but as for you, this is the enemy, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive so through the hardships and the hard things we've been through and we have overcome because we are overcomers we are going to learn how to push back darkness we become stronger and we are going to help save many people alive therefore now therefore do not be afraid over and over and over again the word of god says do not fear but to be strong and courageous over and over he says it's not to fear I, your God Almighty, will provide for you and your little ones. And he comforted them and he spoke kindly to them. Of course he did. He's amazing. He's amazing. Isaiah 40, verse 5. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all the people of the earth will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So, Lord, we just agree with your written word that we look forward to being your instrument that the glory of God is seen in us and seen in this earth and we release your glory to heal. We thank you, Father, that, that you are not a liar. You're not a man that you would lie to us. So everyone at the sound of my voice, you lift up yourself if you're suffering from any sickness, any disease, any C word. Don't even fear that word. It's just another thing from the pit of hell. We bind the spirit of pharmacia. We bind the spirit of witchcraft, we, which is pharmacia. We bind the spirit of disease, 
and infirmity. You will loose the people of God. You will loose our loved ones right now. We break that power of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeshua HaMashiach, the king of all the earth. It's already been done. We claim it. And we just speak to that spirit of death over the hospitals, that spirit of death over the over humanity. We break your power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we impart life, life, life in the name of Jesus. We send forth the host of heaven's angels to go forth, go forth now in the earth and destroy and annihilate these evil entities. We just push them back. We are exercising our faith to push back darkness and we usher in the heavenly host angelic warriors to come in and help us and we as your ambassadors speak your words and your words do not return void because that's another word of yours not ours we praise you we thank you i thank you lord that at the sound of my voice you were empowering you were encouraging and rising up your children of god that i'm not taking this anymore i don't have to i'm not going to bow to it and i'm not going to let Fear rule my soul. So, spirit of fear, we bind you. You loose off of me. You loose off of these people at the sound of my voice right now in the name of Jesus. And I impart faith. I impart hope. And I impart power given to them by God. In Jesus' name. Y'all have a wonderful day. I hope that this encourages you. You're all blessed in the name of Jesus. You're all called, anointed, and appointed to be alive at this time. So I want to share something, one more thing with you that the Lord shared with me several years ago. He's, I was praying for someone, and I could see just like this dark cloud in, in, their, in this area of their body. And I sensed the spirit of death. But see, people have embraced a spirit of death. Okay, we come, we get old and sick and die. No, here's what Jesus is. He is life. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And here's what he said that day. He said, you know death. I know life. I am life. Choose this day. You choose this day to participate with life. And Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is that life for everything you need. Spirit, soul, and body. Be partakers of life. Be partakers of him. Amen.